Okay, uh, this video is on how showing how to graph a uh, uh, function on Math Excel. Okay, now normally when you go to the, a problem like problem 12, it should pop, the show work should pop up. If not, then just click the button here. Now you're going to click the blank space, and when you do that, the add graph, the whole palette will light up. And what you're going to do is you're going to click the add graph, which is in the lower left corner of the palette. So you're going to click that. And it may be a good idea to graph this on paper first. Okay, you're going to start with the parent graph, which is a parabola. All right, and we're going to go up three spaces. So the, the vertex for the parabola is going to be here at 0, 3. So this is what I mean about you know wanting to graph it on paper first. So what you're going to do is, this is an arrow, this is a straight line, this is a curved line here. You're going to click the curved line, and right here where the vertex is going to be at, you're going to click three times. One to the left of the, prob of the vertex, one right at where the vertex is going to be at, and one space to the right of the vertex. And if you notice, you'll see a yellow line that shows up. This point in the middle, that's the vertex. Okay, now, normally your parabola comes up, x is 1, y is 1, x is 1, negative 1, y is positive 1. But because it's shifted up, it's going to be at 1, 4, and 1, negative 1, 4. So you're going to go up, you're going to curve this up one space to where it goes to that one, up one, over one, up one. And then you're going to do the same thing the other way. And so this will be over one, up one, the other way. So you're just going up one, over one, up one, over one. And I'm not real particularly concerned about, you know, how vertically compressed or stretched it is. The main thing I'm looking at is the vertex. And then you can click this arrow here and then continue if you want. You can continue the graph from that. And same thing with the other side. Just click it to where the end of the parabola is and then on up from there. And there you go. You have your graph and then you want to click OK and you're done. Okay, and then save. Alright, and now we're going to go to, to 13. And here we have a cube, but this is minus 3. So it's, again, you click the, notice the palette's not lit up yet. You click the blank space, now it is. And now you click the add graph. And there comes up the graph. Okay, now in this one, uh, you're going to do half and half. So here the, the vertex shifts down three spaces. So that means the vertex is going to be at one, two, three spaces down. But it's going to curve up one and it's going to curve down one. So the, so the cubes are a little bit more difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab, it's going to be like half a parabola up and half a parabola down. So we're going to click the curve again and then we're going to go here to three and click it three times one two three and so this is going to go up over one up one here and then you're going to go up this way so it's curving up and then we're going to do the same thing the other way so we're going to start at the vertex here we're going to go down one and then down a little bit more. And there we go. Now you can go ahead and add arrows on from there. And so we added that one and go the other way. We've added that one. And here we have our vertex right at zero, at, uh, zero negative three. Again, click OK. 
and then save. All right, and now let's go to uh, the next one. And here we have the graph shifts to the left, and it's a cubic. So it's going to shift to the left three and up four. So we click the blank space, click add graph. And our vertex is going to, we start with a vertex. We're going to go left one, two, three, and we're going to go up four. One, two, three, four. So we're going to be at negative three, four. So again, you know, it's a good idea to go ahead and do this on paper first. So we're going to click the parabola, and we said this is negative 3, left 3, up 4. 1, 2, 3. So we went 1, 2, 3 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4 up. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to click the curve again, start at the vertex. We're going to go down one, and then one more. And there's our vertex, curves up, curves down. And we can go ahead and put our arrows in there. And same thing with the other side. There we go, there's our vertex. Again, the main thing is that you get the vertex right. You want to try to get it to curve up and to curve down. You don't want it to have like straight lines. So again, you're, you're using that third button down for that X cube. Again, you're going to click OK and save. And let's go to the next one. Now this one here, you're going to have vertical stretching blank space, click the graph, and so normally what you could do is you could start with the parent graph and then shift it. So we would start here and then here's one, one, and then it continues on from there. And But because there's vertical stretching here at 5, this is going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. And then so this is going to come over like that. And what you're going to do, and, and so at this point here, there's really not much room for an arrow, so I'm not going to be too concerned about that. But the main thing here is that you're showing that you've got that vertical stretching. Instead of x is 1, y is 1, you're going to be at x is 1, y is 5 now. And then click OK and save that one. All right, now here you have a sixth root. So, uh, and it's going to be negative. Now the root, the even roots, whether it's square root, um, or fourth root or sixth root, the even roots are basically the same, but we have a negative in front. So again, we click the space, click add graph. And because it's a negative, it's going to shift down and come across like that. And so we're going to click the curve start off at the center and then go down one one and so an X is so from here you're going to have the sixth root which would be it's very very flat so it's actually going to look more like more like this but it, the main thing is that you show the reflection and that you show that um, kind of flattens out a little bit. So, you know, you could check it with your calculator. So if you were to put in your calculator, um, if you go to a second, if you go to math, 
and you can put in on your calculator put in the sixth root and then math and then you can put in it that way and so at two you get a negative 1.12 so at two this would be pretty close to that at uh, six at the sixth root for for six you get 1.34 so this is actually a little bit more like that and so again the main thing is that what I'm looking for is that your show the you know your vertex is at or your beginning point for your radical is at the origin and it's reflecting downward and then say click OK and save okay I hope this helps uh, with your graphing uh, with the uh, uh, with this homework assignment and uh, you really want to make sure that you get this down because there's going to be more graphing of this type in the future thank you